tip, tip of the day. Don't touch your eyeball with your finger after you got hot sauce on your finger from the Tacos Harara. Oh, insanity, ladies and gentlemen. The Ineos 159 Challenge with Elliot Kipchoge. They have announced the location. I can't believe it. Let's just say it's not London. All right, I'm off to a quick 5K in the Terra Kiger 5s, three miles before zipping to the airport. I'll get you the update on this uh, sub two hour marathon attempt by Elliot Kipchoge, where it's gonna be, what the course is gonna be like, um, the date, that's critical. So basically this means I can start looking for plane tickets. Oh my goodness, like I said, it's not London. I cannot believe it. Oh, baby. All right, I will say one thing, and I'll update you once I'm at the airport. I just want to make sure, confirm all these details that I just read on the Twitter. All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's in Europe. It's in Europe. I will say that much. It is in Europe. All right, we're getting the Terra Kiger 5s on. I'm sporting the singlet today because it's going to be 94 in Denver today. It's finally summer oh i just i love summer i love it and yes sporting the boot still just to make sure as we work through this sensation this feeling whatever this phantom pain remember two days ago great discussion from a lot of people in the comments two days ago about phantom pain with bone injuries and and non-bone injuries actually actually uh so anyway just uh trying to be careful all right let's get this shoe on Easy does it. Oh man, I, at one point I glanced down and I was at 740 pace. I gotta uh, tone it down a little bit. All right, there we go. Three miles in the books. Time to go pack. Camera equipment coming out my ears. Oh boy. Macro lens, 200 millimeter, 400, the drone, audio, lights, and yes, frankly, almost the most important, sometimes you get to motel rooms, and I mentioned this last week in the, in the Leadville Marathon recap video, you always wanna pack extra outlets, basically. So this is a, just a power strip, hopefully you can see that there, because in motels, you're sometimes desperate to charge so many different things all at the same time. So anyway, I, I even pack extra power because that is the worst situation as a cinematographer when you don't have power or battery life. All right, onward and upward. Let's load it up and hit the road. All right, we made it to the airport. Before I hop on the plane, I wanna give you the update for the sub two hour marathon location. That's right, with Elliot Kipchoge, the Ineos 159 Challenge, it's called. Uh, just saw here on Twitter, absolutely crazy. Okay, so they chose this location because there's a 4.3 kilometer straight, uh, uh, I guess, uh, paved road, which creates a 9.6 kilometer circuit. It's the course is 90% straight in Vienna, Austria. Vienna. Oh man, am I going to Vienna? I can't believe it. I thought they were going to do London. This is crazy. Vienna, Austria. So anyone in Austria want to hang out in October? And yes, the date is October 12th. All right, I got to go catch a plane. Come on.
waiting for the rental car. On to Truckee, Truckee, California. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Welcome to Truckee. Found some tacos in Truckee. That's right, just got into town and there's no like, this is a very nice, nice mountain town. I was expecting um, a little bit more of like a, like I was looking for a Wendy's basically to eat at, but I found a nice street taco vendor. This is gonna be good. Butter my bread, butter my bread. <laughs> tip, tip of the day. Don't touch your eyeball with your finger after you got hot sauce on your finger from the tacos Harara. Oh, my eyeball. <laughs> my eyeball is burning. Ow. Shyster. That's, that's, uh, that's, oh. It's a nice looking, it's, it's, you know. Nobody's here. Nobody's answering. I can't check in. And I got checked in with no dog bites. This is a bonus, all right? This is a bonus. Okay, obviously not in the studio. I don't have the fancy lights to light up the, uh, light up the area. So instead I'm using the vending machine as the ambient light. And yes, made it to Truckee, California, which is about, just so you know, it's about 30 minutes away from Squaw Valley, which is where the start of the races tomorrow morning. If you're watching this on Friday, the start of the Western States 100 is tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. Pacific time, okay? And here's the schedule uh, today. If you're watching this on Friday, I'm gonna be in Squaw Valley, scoping out the starting area, hiking up the hill a little bit, just to see the surroundings. Once again, as you probably already know, I've never been here before, so I need to kind of figure out how I'm gonna film this start because it is insanity. It's like, there's, there's about, as far as I know, three to 400 runners, which is a lot, but actually it's the spectators that I'm gonna have to figure out the, the right positioning to get the shots that I want for all of you. So that'll be happening, if you're watching this on Friday, happening today in Squaw Valley. If you see the green hat, shout out, say hello. I, yeah, I do YouTube videos, so I was using this light to, to film. Okay. <laughs> sure, I, I just closed it for the, for the noise. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, I'll be done in just a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, I will. Okay. <laughs> and I'm back. Okay, that was the uh, motel midnight manager. She just wondering what the heck I was doing, but she was cool with it. Okay, so basically that is what I'm doing today in Squaw Valley and then waking up probably about 3 a.m., eh, probably even actually about 2.45 in order to get to the starting line in time, you know, find a parking spot, get my position so that we can get these shots for you tomorrow morning, Saturday. It's gonna be amazing, and I think that is all I wanted to mention. I lost my train of thought, hold on one second. All right, so instead of the normal one word for the keyword, we're gonna put four together, that's right. See you in Squaw. It's kind of how people communicate on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, use the hashtag see you in Squaw, and then you'll see a bunch of people discussing the race and the question of the day. How are you planning to follow the race? And uh, whether it's I don't know, YouTube, Twitter, uh, all the other running websites out there that will be represented, of course, I'll be giving updates just so you know. Oh man, Instagram, a little bit of Snapchat, of course Facebook, and then I'll be, oh my God, it's gonna be insane trying to edit the vlog 
that night. Yeah, I don't even know how it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen, all right? I, I might have to find a Starbucks somewhere in order to upload at like two or three in the morning, but we will get it done for all of you. All right, see beauty. Okay.